G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and welcome to episode 5 of our series Nanobytes. Today we're going to be talking about the cheapest filtration that you can set up. So for me it's a no brainer, the cheapest filtration you can set up is a sponge filter. Uh, you've got an air pump, probably pick them up for about 15 bucks, a couple of dollars worth of airline and then you can get an air filter for about five dollars roughly so I think you can invest less than well, about twenty dollars to filter a tank. They have some advantages, they have some disadvantages. Some of the advantages is that they are fantastic for biological filtration. I really, really, really like um, sponge filters for biological filtration. Some of the downsides is they're not that flash for uh, mechanical filtration. I personally have filtered a 1100 litre aquarium on two really large uh, sponge filters. They were running on a very large aquarium pump, but I filtered it successfully with that. Uh, I did have to do slightly bigger water changes uh, because I was trying to pick up some of the more uh, bigger bits of poo and stuff like that, but it did work. The nitrates were fine, the ammonia was zero and the nitrite was zero, so the filter itself was doing a really good biological job, mechanical not so much. When it comes to smaller tanks, they are absolutely fantastic. They don't give a lot of uh, sort of flow in one direction, but they do definitely break up the water. Um, they get the, the exchange between the oxygen and the water going really, really well because they're always bubbling at the surface, which is a fantastic thing, which is what you want to do. So that, to me, I think is probably the cheapest way that you can set up a decent filter. Uh, a little bit noisy sometimes, so if they're in a living area, it might not be the best, but by far, I believe, the cheapest that you can do. Alright guys, thank you for joining us, that has been episode 5, have a good one, happy fish, keep it and catch you later.